Guys, friend of one here, welcome to my live reaction and review to Black Clover Chapter 149 Reincarnation. Alright, guys, so last week we had some pretty interesting stuff go down. Not I mean, a lot, basically, the whole thing with uh, it was pretty much a flashback chapter, which was kind of a little bit out of place, but kind of gave us an emphasis on the story of why everything is happening. Um, so, catch everybody up. Life has gained, has killed Julius, the Magic Emperor, taking the remaining two mana stones, plus the one that Raddy stole from the, uh, the Black Clover uh, Hall. They have gained all of the magic, the magic stones. They've inserted it into this big wall thing. This big stone tablet. Now stuffing's got stuff is happening. We know it's all reincarnation magic. Um, and unfortunately, Light was only able to save one person instead of the entire clan. And using this magic was a, seemingly was the plan was to bring back the elves. That is what I'm thinking. But anyway, let's get into this chapter, guys. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to go down because we also know about two, three chapters ago. Something was going on with you know he started shining. What's going on? I want to find out what the hell's going on. Let's do this. Continued to the present. The hatred and revenge towards mankind. The journey pursued by the white knight demon eyes. Forbidden magic. Evil eye. Alright, so that's the third eye that uh, Veto, Fana, and Liar all had. Um they basically gave him the third eye. Alright. I have fixed the other world's mana into your soul and revived you within a human with a similar wavelength. Gathering the mana to use this magic is what's quite hard, you know. Alright. I'm going to have to zoom in because there's like a little translation note. An elf boy revives himself with a forbidden spell and reincarnates with a similar appearance to light. An avenger calling himself light was born. Alright, so that explains light. So it's not actually light, it's someone who calls himself light. Okay. Please don't meddle and be a bother, a bother, liar son. You. But that is my, no, my mission. Translation. The second one is gender neutral. Okay. Isn't that right, liar? So this is where liar and light <laughs> yeah, like Veto, you, Veto, you who can relate to the beast are so kind, and yet even in this era, you are being persecuted. Please live with us once more. You are not the one who should be in despair. You know the humans of the Clover Kingdom; they remember it. Your true self, Fana. It's not just your appearance that's similar. Your name is the same too. I'm sure this isn't a coincidence. It doesn't mean you should welcome such a sad ending in this era as well. Now wake up. Okay, so something's gone on with Fana. So as I know, Fana and Mars are together. So something's obviously going on there. Okay. Unless this is all a flashback. Now, somehow... The ones who have been reincarnated are these three. A complete reincarnation in order to resurrect everyone else. A tremendous amount of mana and more sacrifices are needed. I shall gather the magic stones that used to be in our village but were scattered throughout the lands by using human beings. And so that's how they came to be. All right. That explains a lot. That's how they all came to be. So we've got light there smiling. The cornerstone of resurrection. I don't even get what the hell he's saying. I guess we're supposed to wake up to our mighty, to our mighty magical power now. You bastard! Could you? Are you trying to deceive us? What, what the hell's going on, Raddies? Like something's going on with him. It's like he's burning. Uh, 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 
to the Ogon, you know when your true names were granted and you were gathered as comrades, you were marked as sacrifices for this forbidden magic. Don't fuck with me, you bastard. I'm not going to go with the name you just selfishly attached to me. I am ready, Spirito. Lord Light, we are your... Weren't we your precious comrades? Let's live on together. You are my precious comrades. So it looks like Rattles, Radies, Sally, they're all literally being sacrificed here. Oh yes, you were precious indeed after all. You were the sacrifices for it. For resurrecting my real comrades. Oh, alright, dude. Yeah, that's vicious. He just used them to sacrifice them. So it looks like he's literally just destroyed. He's killed them. They're all dead. You can see them literally just collapsing now. Their souls are just escaping all the mana. So we've got this big light. This is absurd. Hmm. Maybe the, the profile is a bit lacking. Okay. There is no way this bastard can do it. Huh? So it looks like even all of the other guys that are defending the thing, they're all disappearing as well. They're sacrifices as well. Uh, so they're all... What? Huh? What? 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 I didn't do anything now. <laughs> so Belmont's like, ah, I didn't do anything. What the hell's going on? Uh, God. So they're all dying. They're all getting killed. They're all being sacrificed. Right, so it's showing like the, the light from the demonic skull is... What? What is it this time? What the hell is going on in this country? Ah, uh, what is that? It's different from the sword of of light a while ago. Is it an attack from the White Knight bastards again? So we got Chammy. Uh, we got not Chammy. We got Gordon and um yeah the guys are still at the do at the guild. What? Marie? So what the hell's going on? So they're, they're shining, as we know that he seemingly looks like an uh, he looks like an elf. So what's going on? So it looks like we've got beams of light everywhere throughout the Clover Kingdom. What on earth? Luck. So time to luck. Time to a couple of other people as well. What the hell's going on here? What the hell is this? What the hell is it this time, you bastard? <laughs> you bastard. But there's sudden shining. Be done with that so you can talk properly. Hey, right, are you listening to me? <laughs> the ass is cracking the shit. What a shame. It's the time. It's the end of time for humans. But what is wrong with all of you? Because I remember, you know, something like this has gone on with you know. So something's going on where Mimosa is. Don't dare speak to us, you fool. You're not our co- <gasps> No way! They're all elves! And fucking you know too! You know's a fucking elf! No way! You know's an elf! Disappear! Humans! Now then, it's time for revenge! No! So Gordon Gordon's a help an elf. Like we kind of figured Gordon might be a descendant of an elf, but he's an actual elf. Oh my god, no fucking way. They're going fucking nuts. So all the elves had been reincarnated just in human bodies. Now they're back. No. And you know fucking one of them. Oh my god, this is nuts! Fucking Mimosa's there. And there's four of them and just Mimosa. No way! Holy shit! I did not pick that. Like, at all. I did not see that coming. Holy crap. Anyway, guys, like, just hang on a second. We're going to jump into a review. All right, guys. So chapter 149. Like, oh, my God. I did not see it. So, basically, this chapter 
Start off where we pick up off bets from two weeks ago. Forbidden Magic Evil Eye. So that's the magic that was being used. Um, and we got a little bit of flashback of how Light, or the guy who was pretending to be Light, came to meeting Liar, Veto, and Fana. And we find out that they are all actually, you know, by using the human beings, you know, they'll put it, uh, Elven Bot, uh, Soul was put it into them so that they could use that to reincarnate. Uh, and then basically, Light was using all the humans on his cross, so Raddies, Rattles, Sally, uh, as well as all of just the henchmen. Uh, he used them as sacrifices to basically get enough mana to reincarnate all the elves. Right? Raddies is obviously pissed. Rattles, Sally, they're like, what the fuck? What the hell? You said we we're going to be all living together. What the hell? He goes, yes. He goes, Oh yes, you were precious indeed after all. You were the sacrifices for resurrecting my real comrades. Right? And we see as Raddy, Sally and Rattles are literally just the miners getting sucked out of them. Right? And then we say, we've got a little Balmalti and we go back to little Balmalti saying, what the hell's going on? This is absurd. There's no way this bastard, this bastard can do it. And then we see all the rest of the like kind of henchmen, same things happening to them. And Bell, you know, Bell was like, huh, 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 what, 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 what? I didn't do anything yet. So he's kind of being like, what, what's going on? I didn't do it. I didn't kill him. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? And we see all this mana has gone out. Boom, 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 boom. We've got this big, bright, bright, shining light. Everyone's trying to figure out what the hell. Oh, we got Gordon Gray, Gordon Gray and Gauch. Um, or sitting there like, huh, what the hell's going on? Is this an attack by, by those bastards again? Yeah. And then we see Gordon's uh, starting to shine. Marie's starting to shine. We see this beam of light go up from Marie. And then we get a big uh, outset of the Clover Kingdom where all these beams of light are going up. Boom, 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 boom. Right? And then we see Luck. We see a couple of others that are on the Magic Knight Squad, including Belmonte. You know, so there's some pretty powerful people there. You know, and we're like, you got, then we go to Aston, he's like, what the fuck's going on? What the hell? What the hell? You know, are you even listening to me? And then we got Lai saying, what a shame. It's the end of time for humans. Then we go back to Mimosa, and she's like, what, what is wrong with all of you? And then we see, you know, Light, and the other two guys, they're all elves. This is the biggest revelation of the world. You know is an elf. You know now is now an enemy. Asta's rival, biggest rival. He's grown up with him. He is now the enemy. And the look, dude, this is nuts. This is crazy. And then we got all the elves now starting to fight back against the mages. All the elves in the cities are starting to go on a rampage. And then we got Gauch go boom, getting set up all these mirrors, about to go in against Gray and Gordon. And then we got Lego. Now then, it's time for revenge. Holy shit, guy! Like the thing that's really got me is the whole you know, we got you know, we got. Monty, we got luck, we got some insanely powerful, you know, mages within the Clover Kingdom. They're elves. They are all elves, and now they are the enemy. This is crazy, guys. Elves are pissed because the Clover Kingdom supposedly were the, you know, it was the, the original uh, magic emperor that kill them all, they're pissed, they're coming for revenge, and now they're back. What's going to happen next week? Holy shit, I'm just, like, I did not fucking call this. I did not see this coming, guys. I knew something big was going to happen. This is just blowing all out of the water. But anyway, guys, overall, for this chapter, the art was solid. The surprise was just like, oh my god, 
I did not see this coming. The craziness, everything. Like this is just nuts. That's why this week, guys, Black Clover is getting a five out of five. Absolute phenomenal chapter. Completely caught me off guard. I'm super excited, guys. Like this was just absolutely fucking crazy. Absolutely fucking mental. Holy shit. One hell of a crazy chapter. I cannot fucking wait for next week's chapter. Chapter 150 is going to be insane. It's going to be intense. And I can't fucking wait for it. Holy shit. Anyway, guys, let me know in that comment section below. What did you guys think? Did you think something along these lines was going to happen? Obviously, I knew the elves were going to come back. I knew that much, but... The thing that's got me is some of the more powerful wizards. You know, Lil Balmonte, you know. Dude, those two in particular, that has luck. Some of the characters that we've grown to love are now our enemy. That's blown me away. Let me know, guys. Did you see all of this coming? Like, did you pick some of the characters that were going to be elves? Let me know in that comment, in that comment section below. As always, guys, smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the chapter as well. Hit that subscribe button. It's completely and totally free. You know we all like that free shit. And as always, guys, dingle that bell. It'll let you know every time I upload. And as always, I'm free now one. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys with another live reaction and review. Peace. Twin. Ah. Oh, come